And I'm just uh, doing some final checking before I haul this off to the fountain. It's like you get done with the clay and you take it outside and it just you just see all kinds of little imperfections that you didn't see inside with the uh, lighting that you had. If you just change the lighting a little bit you get a whole different view. Now what I do is I have a uh, board in the back of my van that I attach this to just like I do the sculpting stand with screws and that keeps it from flipping over or uh, sliding around the back of the van. And I put my air conditioning on, especially if it's warm. It's, it's in the 60s right now, so it's not too bad. But when it gets up in the 80s and 90s outside, and the inside of the van is really hot, you uh, have to keep your air conditioning on all the time. Because uh, all the clay's in it. So when I'm transporting a clay to the foundry, I don't make a lot of sightseeing stops. Or stop at the store. Because <laughs> you can come back out and the whole thing will be melted. All right. Down the ridge line, six months after the beginning of it, is done. Finally. I like to get his input on the clay anyway, so that's why I want to stop by Todd's. be a uh, town here back in the 1800s that uh, had something like 10 15,000 people in it. it was a brick buildings and everything and you, there's not a thing left of it this is uh, all ranch land get returned back to ranch land it, it sprung up because of the gold rush back in the 1800s and um, just a couple of buildings uh, left from that period one of them burned down about two years ago and uh, because of a grass fire that got caught by uh, started by a lightning and it spread down to where the, the building was and burned it down so it's amazing how quickly nature takes over after man disappears <laughs> They're doing the roads now. April 2nd they started. That's uh, yesterday. They do this about every so often, every couple of years. They're probably putting gravel down.
Buffalo. That's part of uh, Ted Turner. Ted Turner's ranch uh, used to be Jet Ted Turner and Jane Fonda's ranch, and they raised buffalo for the meat, of course. Play into the mold room. This is the uh, foundry here in Belgrade. Art castings of Montana. Looks like they've been making a mold of that piece. This is Khan. He's the guy that makes the molds. He's got a separate business here, and and uh, he just. Uh, Doing the gates for the uh, this life-size uh, bighorn. Pretty cool. Anyway, there's my clay. I've dropped it off. Now it's not the only clay he's got in here. He's got several other pieces. It looks like they're getting ready to be molded. And there's the plaster shell over there that's on molds that have already been made. And uh, it's pretty interesting to see how. He puts things together. And here's uh, some small pieces that he's made the molds of. But anyway, I'm going to turn off the camera now and pay. I'm going to head home. And uh, so that's pretty much going to end my video for today, which I didn't intend to do. But I so uh, it's probably going to be about eight weeks. Um, I'm hoping it'll be eight weeks before it's done. Could be longer. Sometimes uh, it takes 12 weeks. Just depends on the schedule and uh, and how you they work you into the, uh, the process. So I'm going home now. Well, actually, going to the other foundry.